in one second. And I should say we're back. <laughs> Happy Friday from Hugh and Lisa. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Yes. So it just got really wild on that last one. <laughs> so we're going to come in, clean it up. We're talking about back to basics today. If you haven't had a chance yet to make sure you tune in, chime in. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, Hugh and Lisa here, local real estate professionals based out in California. Hi, hello. Hugh Williams, what's your Facebook? You're at to Hugh. He's got it on his timeline. And I'm Lisa Puerto at LA Super Agent on all the social media. So today we're talking about back to basics. Let me just throw this in here. And um, I want us to get to the nitty gritty of what Hugh mentioned today. And I thought it was a great topic. He said, you, you know, people are asking these questions and maybe we should just come and revisit. How do we get started? Is that correct? How do we get started with buying? Where do we start? How do we get started? I don't know. Is that where we're going with this? This is pretty much usually we deal with sellers. So this is something that we've just become accustomed to. And there are people are reaching out from our Facebook page, just people we are meeting in streets and just people who are sending people to us. This is their first point of interest is how do I get started in this market? How do I get in position to buy a house? I've been thinking about it. I've been talking to family members. We all agree. We want to move forward. What do we do? What do we do? So a couple things. I mean, I, I, I like that we start with, I, I said initial consultation, but I definitely like the fact that you talked about mindset. Expand on that for us. Well, it's once you've made up your mind, this is what I want to do, and you want to move forward, you're not in that, I, that stage where you're not clear. Once all you, everybody, all your support system is on board and everybody's saying, yes, let's go for it, the time is right. The time is right then to reach out to professionals and say, how do we begin? Do not be afraid to reach out to ask the question because there are very few stupid or dumb questions. It's just stupid or dumb answers. And as long as you're searching for knowledge, you'll find it. I like that. Ask and seek and knock all that stuff and you shall find, receive and it'll open all that good stuff. <laughs> We wanted to, to do a quick synopsis of kind of what that looks like, right? And for those of you who aren't familiar, I've authored the book, State Terms and Concepts to the Youth and Could Young you Adults. Could you your books, Lisa, please just hold it up? Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to hold up one of the books. So this is part one. This is Real Estate 100, the teen home buying experience uh, for agents and co op it talks about income property for, I would say, a little bit older demographic. I'd probably say 16 and up. So Real Estate 100 is a teen and investment, an investment blueprint. This is co-authored with Anthony Lee. Phil, really happy that we did that. It can be found on my website, 100.net, all that fun stuff. Takes you to the same website so that you can buy the literature and the also comes with the workbook and activities and all kinds of fun things. If you're not aware of what I'm doing, go check out Birth, this country's organization, introducing this material information for an advocate for real estate literacy for the youth and young adults. And uh, we do empower careers and all that stuff. Thanks for that plug here, realestate100youth.org. So, and guys, if you have any questions, First of all, please share this information. Just hit the share button, share it with your friends. If they have any information, don't hesitate to just shoot us an email, contact us on Facebook so that we can answer your questions. You, we, you know, we're willing to sort of share the information that we have. So, Lisa? So that's right into talking about uh, 
you talk about sharing, that brings us into where do we get started, right? And we talked about consultation, sitting down with a real estate professional. Most of you will start your search online. Some of you may have people in your circle that I've already uh, and then up with a real estate professional. And if you don't, Hugh and Lee, that number, look, Lisa, right, right there, feel free to give us a call. <laughs> and we're happy to uh, be your resource. And having a sit down, it's free. And professional helps put a plan in place. I think part two, because it talks about the blue putting a plan in place. You, As far as a plan go, it can be 30 days, it can be uh, three months, it can be 60 days, it can be a year, it can be three months. It's whatever works for you. But if you sit down with a professional, then you can begin to sort of formulate what will work best for you and yours. Right, right. Hey, Justin, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Justin always trying and supports and uh, be sure to there let somebody know talking about the basics you sit down with a professional and you set that plan in place and the importance of that plan and I think we talked about rapport building rapport building with that agent especially with what we do we tend to be long term we bet we get we tend to be in it post the sale post escrow post closing uh, because there's still there's a lot more that happens in maintaining that property that we want to make sure that we're we're still resource for you. And the importance of the report building that we talk about in sitting down is because you're divulging in, in, and oftentimes people tend to feel anxious about you. They tend to be nervous about, you know, you know sending off the bank statements, uh, giving copies card, giving your income and your pay stubs and your tax return items that you're going to need to gather if you're financing in order for a lender to take a look at you eligible for a loan. Well, that's definitely true. And But these aren't things that should hold you back because you're going to have to do it anyway. So just get used to it and just take the deep breath and just say, I can do this. Uh, another thing that a lot of people don't understand is right now you can get into a property for a little, as little as three and a half percent down on some special programs. You can get in as, as little as one percent. So, I mean, when you think about that, that means if you have like ten thousand, twelve thousand dollars sitting around, you can buy a house. Now think about it. On the average job, if you put aside five hundred dollars a month, just stop going out, stop hanging out, just for like six, seven months, you have a down payment. Now, after that six months are over, you can ball out. You can go out every night if you want to. But now you have a home that belongs to you. You have begun to start your generational wealth. You have started a whole new mindset, not only for you, but for those around you. Right. Simple things. So it's really not that hard once you sort of understand and hear the process. I like that. I'm very true. So once the consult happens, it's the fact finding, what I call the fact finding, which is so many of those documents needed to be eligible for a loan and sometimes they're not going to get the immediate not going to hear that yes or yes you've been pre-approved what you will hear is sometimes uh, we either need to make more income or bring in more income It'll be a conversation of bringing in a co borrower if that's something that you're open to doing uh, the other part of that would be there are things on your FICO that may need to be paid down or paid off and those things need to, need to be addressed. Or it also, like he was saying, down payment, right? So there may be, you still need to make up in terms to contribute towards half percent. And there's various programs. There are various programs that can assist you. 
It's just you doing your homework and learning the uh, pros and cons to those programs because some of them are income restricted, some of them are restricted, and also you want to learn about in terms of silent loan paybacks and all that other information. So do your due diligence, do your homework, ask the professionals, ask the questions. One of the things I talk about in the book is somehow we lost our, our sense of curiosity. Um, as we grow older, we get the hush hush all the time. He was that do you think we've hushed hushed that now as adults, we no longer want to ask the questions because as kids, we've been hush hush and don't say that, don't do that, don't you know? So I encourage that, uh, we encourage that to ask the questions, and oftentimes, what he likes to do is give the notepad and the pen. And what do you do? What do you tell them to do? <laughs> hey, whenever you think of the question, just write it down. And then uh, the next day, just call us up. Call up your professional and just ask those questions. And once again, going back to the relationship, you should build a relationship with any professional that you have because you want that to be a long-term relationship. So you don't have to ask a question today and then be afraid to ask tomorrow. You're building up a rapport with this person because they are going to help you for not only your near future, but for long term future. And that's right, how right. you have to look at income property. That's true. Hugh, let's wrap it up real quick and let's just jump on and let people enjoy their weekend. We just dropped some pointers in terms of where to start. There's no guest was advocates and resources. And this is why we do what we do so that you're aware that this is very normal. Experience, giving up the documentation, people asking you questions about how much money you make, how much money you've saved, credit. That is very normal as part of this uh, getting ready to buy. So if you would share here with us what's happening this weekend, and I'm going to drop our forth, do your thing. <laughs> and last thing too, don't be afraid to share because there is no judgment because in judgment you saying there's shame. There is no shame because you're moving forward in life. So don't worry about judgment. Just move forward. Judgment is done. Um, this weekend, we have a listing for sale. The address is 4412 Angeles Vista Boulevard. It's in View Park, wonderful section of town. The asking is uh, 135. It's a 4,000 square foot house, three bedrooms, four baths, nice property, need a small amount of TLC, but the long-term gain on this property is amazing. So stop by, we're there on Saturday from one to three, just for the neighborhood. But if you're in our circle, you're from our neighborhood. So come on by, say hello, ask any questions that you may have. And on Sunday, we're there from one to four for general public. Awesome. Thanks, you guys, for time today on Friday. We'll see you next Friday. Be sure to subscribe here uh, at LA Super Agent. Subscribe at To Hugh on Facebook. And if you do have questions, feel free to drop it in the comment. And if they're very, feel free to DM us. You've got the number or you've got the email. And feel free to connect. We're happy to be a resource resource to you. Remember, Hugh and Lisa helping you. Make the right move. And just want to say one more thing. Clothes for the people in Houston and Miami. If you have any extra clothes, please. They're looking for clothing now because a lot of their stuff has been totally worn out, drowned and everything. So help them out if you can. Uh, Hugh and Lisa, 323-348-1222. One more time. Three two three three four eight twelve twenty two. Have a wonderful weekend.